Hey everybody, my name is Deja and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with my June TBR. So my TBRs are always really long book-wise and this one is no different. And I'm trying not to make my TBRs too big, like around 10-ish books, which is what I have. But then um, Summerween is also this month and I haven't really settled on my tbr i just have a whole bunch of options i think i'm just going to mood read like my options that i'm going to show you that week because i saw the prompts and i was like not really feeling the prompts as soon as i saw that prompt that was like read a book with haunt in the title i was like never mind because what happened was i was going to read a book with haunt in the title by darcy coates but then i was like why would i read this random darcy coates books i've heard very mixed thing about darcy coates and i just bought all these new thrillers i have a haul coming for y'all and i just have all these thrillers that i really want to read and stuff like that so i was like why would i waste my time on that book right now when i have a whole bunch of thrillers literally next to me that i would love to read so i was like you know what f the prompts i'm gonna do summerween my way so my way or the highway my way my way or the highway i'm hoping to vlog that week but my vlogs tend to get really uninteresting because i literally go to work come home maybe go to the gym literally lay in bed watch love island maybe read a little like it my life is not that interesting currently during the summer because you know I'm, I'm trying to chill but i always be at that job you get one update from me a day and it's just not fun anymore but i'm going to try my very best to make it interesting for y'all i've literally scrapped two readathon vlogs because literally they were so boring like mm -mm. and i just didn't want to edit a boring vlog to be honest so with that being said i'm going to first talk about my book club books for stacks of strange we've actually not announced a book for july yet i don't even know what it's gonna be we haven't really discussed it yet so it'll probably be decided by the time that this video is going up so in editing i'll put what book that is for y'all but as of now we haven't decided on a book so i have no idea what that is but for spoon sisters we're going to be reading promises and pomegranates by Savar miller i recently picked this book up and i have no idea what it is except this man is like a villain i literally don't even know but i've heard pretty good things about it so i'm excited for us to read it and see what we think we're really on like a dark streak so i'm really excited to get to this one because we love a good dark romance so this is editing Deja here. I forgot to mention that we're also doing a buddy read of The Never King for July, which we'll be discussing in our Discord. We also have a buddy read for August. And if you're looking for any of the trigger warnings for these books, because they do tend to be darker, they're all on the Spoon Sisters Instagram. And there's also some buzzwords that I added in for our main picks as well, if you're interested in that. Then I'm still doing a read along for it. This is going all the way through August. I'm actually behind by like a, a, a bit. So I'm going to start on that today, but um during strange thought i didn't read any of this book but um we are going to be reading more of this book and i'll probably have like a book amount of this done like around 400 ish pages of this done in july so i wanted to mention it that i'm still going to be continuing reading this so i'm excited to continue on and get more of like that kid 80s action because we've only got a little taste and i'm ready for more then i'm just putting this one out into the ether i was supposed to read jade city a many months but i mentioned this in my june tbr but i unfortunately did not get to it i started it and my brain was just like no like i just can't do a fa uh, just a plain fantasy right now but i um was talking about this with quinn and she said that she might want to buddy read this with me so we'll see if we actually get to this i'm hoping that we do so it'll like motivate me to read this because it is on my 22 books to read in 2022 something in my soul is telling me i may not get to all 22 of those books but i'm hoping to get a good ratio like maybe 19 20 of them i'll be okay but this is one that i do really want to read just my brain just the fantasy so i'm hoping if we like divide it up per day you know we'll be good this one's also a tentative choice for summerween but i know that the buzzwordathon for this month is like book page whatever like things like that so this book has notes in the title which is like the closest one that i probably have that i'd want to read and it's notes on an execution i recently just picked up this book and this is about a serial killer on death row but his life and like everything is being told throughout the women in his life and it's being told by them which i find very interesting and it's um i think that's really like good you know like to direct the focus not onto him but to focus on the people that he's impacting with his actions so i find that really interesting so maybe i'll pick this one up and it's pretty short i might pick it up during summerween i may pick it up throughout the month i may not pick it up at all and just skip this buzzword-a-thon but we'll see miss sun is coming out we love to see it 
So these next six books that I have here are books that I've just been really wanting to read and I most likely will read these this month because I've been really really wanting to read them. So some of them are like more summary romances, some of them are sequels, some of them are just ones that I've been really looking forward to. So the first one that I have is Seven Days in June by Tia Williams and this is one that I've been really wanting to pick up and I finally got a physical copy. We love a good black romance. I heard this one's really good and it's called Seven Days in June. I wanted to read it in June, but I'm going to be reading it in July, which hopefully that's close enough. I haven't really heard anybody mention like summery vibes, but it says seven days in June. So I'm hoping that it has a little bit of like summer or a little bit of something something. So I have a couple of like really summery romances that I know that I own. Like for example, Beach Read by Emily Henry. I don't think I'm ready to dive into Emily Henry like that. Maybe in the month of August, but definitely not this month. But if I don't read it this summer, like they're not going to be read until next summer one that i do want to read this month is shipped by angie hawkman i got a copy of this at the used bookstore a couple months ago and i really wanted to pick this one up because sarah from sarah shelves really liked this book sometimes our taste agree most of the time they do not but they agree more on romance than they do other genres so i'm hoping to like this one i know this one i'm pretty sure it's like a rom-com which i don't really read that often but since i own it and it was recommended to me by a friend you know i'm gonna read it it says the unhoneymooners meets the hating game which are two um, romances that I did like but I read them and liked them a couple years ago so I don't know if I would love them now but I did really like them when I read them. We'll see how I like it but I'm excited for the summer vibe. Another pretty summery romance is My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. If y'all don't know I love Tessa Bailey so much so we will see if she becomes a favorite author. I'm trying to I don't know I know Kayla from Books and Lala obviously she's very like um organized in her reading and she has like a certain criteria that an author has to meet for them to become a favorite author different people have different criteria so I'm trying to decide what my criteria will be but I think it's like if I have three books that were like 4.5 or 5 stars from an author then they're gonna be a favorite author maybe a four star could be thrown in there like one four star and the rest 4.5 or five stars so far I think I have a four or 4.5 and a five star from Tessa Bailey so hopefully this one I love this one I feel like is like a cozy mystery meets romance which makes me really excited because I love both those genres I love Tessa Bailey as I said and I'm just really hoping to love this one because it happened one summer was great and I really enjoyed it but I also really loved her release last year in December December, so I'm hoping to love this one as well. So I'm trying to pick up some more of my hard hitting contemporaries and stuff like that at least like one or two a month because they I don't pick them up all the time because they can be very draining on me but I do want to read them and I read one a couple months ago called Pet by Quake Amezi which I really enjoyed and that one's more like magical realism and this is one that's similar in that idea and that is Black Girl Unlimited by Echo Brown. I've been thinking about this book lately and picking it up and it seems like it'll be pretty quick and this one was also sent to me by Molly from Mind of Molly obviously but I think um they changed their name to romantically bookish or something like that i'll have them linked down below of course but um i am really excited to pick this one up and i've just been really wanting to because i've heard good things about it so hopefully i love it then these next two are both sequels that i have so i have there is no devil by sophie lark i loved there are no saints it's my favorite book of the year so far so i obviously want to pick up there is no devil and i got these beautiful special edition copies of them i really do love them i do eventually want to get the um normal editions as well but i was scared that these ones might disappear so i picked these up and i just love it it's a serial killer romance it's like if joe goldberg from you was in a romance and was like a serial killer for fun joe i feel like only really kills because he thinks he is supposed to to protect some person or another but this serial killer definitely kills for funsies and it has like art in it and I don't know it's much darker in tone than you but it's like a dark romance you edition and I'm really decided to continue on with Cole and Mara's story. I may continue on in this series but I might not it depends on how much time I have. I'm really trying to read a lot in July because one of my goals for this year I don't think I talked about it in my video but I've never read 20 books in a month and I, I think the most I read was maybe 18 or 19 so I want to try and read 20 books for one month of this year and the most likely month that that would happen is either in the summer or December so this is like my last full month I um go back to school August 7th to start training to be an RA and classes start August 20 something so August is like 
it's a very iffy month we may get a lot of reading done we may not it really depends i will not be working as much except being an ra like that training is what i'm going to be doing not working at my target job so i don't know if i will like have more time because i'll be on campus already they basically said like you're going to be working 30 hours a week probably um but we don't really have a schedule so plan nothing so that's why i'm not working at my other job either because i literally don't have a schedule so i don't know how much i'm gonna get done in august so july is the month and i've been kind of like not slumpy but like i feel like i've had a lot of like you know three 3.5 maybe a four star but like the books just haven't been like hitting this year like i want them to so i'm really trying to mood read as you can see i have a lot of books that i've been wanting to read so then that way hopefully i can get through books that's my little rants for this video but um this series i may continue on with for this month and that is the my book series i've read the first two books um so i have three four and five left i have three of them um i don't know the titles of those ones let me see if it says um so i still have scarlet angel all the lies and painted all red we'll see if i continue on with these but they are really quick to read they're really short so maybe they would help me reach that 20 book goal for the month one book that i've also been really mentioning that i want to read is her to take by harley larue this is is on my 22 books read in 2022 and also on my 12 books read and 12 months recommended by 12 friends and it's the only one that's on both so I obviously really want to read it to knock it off both I just haven't had the mental capacity to read too many books that don't have audio and it doesn't but I'm hoping to read it this month to knock it off both okay so next we're going to be talking about my summerween tbr so one of them that I do have that I may read I don't know this is a true crime book but it is on my 12 challenge again so that is I'll be on in the dark by um, Michelle McNamara I've actually heard mixed things about this lately um but this obviously is following the golden state killer this was recommended to me to read by my friend um olivia and she's only on instagram but her instagram is live for reading um which you know it's so clever and so funny maybe i'll pick this up for summer ween we'll see i'm not exactly sure yet and then another book that's on my 22 books reading 2022 i don't own it yet but i'm buying a copy pretty soon and that is the one by john mars this is one that i've been really wanting to read because everybody loves the one i've never heard a bad thing about the one and and this is like a lot of people say that this is like the only book from John Mars that they like. And so I'm really excited to try this one out. It sounds really fun, like a little sci-fi thriller. And I'm really excited to try it out. Another author that people also say this about is The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. People say that this is the only Peter Swanson that they like. I just bought a copy recently and it sounds really interesting. It's about like this man and he's talking to this woman at the airport and they get they get deep for no reason. And he tells her like jokingly like, oh, look, I kind of want to kill my wife. And she's like, okay, babe, like I'm going to help you kill your wife. And he's like... Uh okay well miss girl gonna be dead then pop 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 so i don't know stuff is going on this other girl has a secret i'm excited to read it for myself so one video that i've been wanting to do is reading manga for the first time because i've never read manga and i've always been wanting to read jinji ito that is who i wanted to start with because i love horror so i wanted to start with a horror manga and i was going to do a video where i read manga for the first time but then i was like okay well then i have to find like at least like one more manga if not two more and read that for the video so i was like maybe i'll just include it in a different reading vlog and i was like okay well i'll read it for stranger thon but then i scrapped that vlog so i didn't end up reading it for stranger Rangathon. So I have Uzumaki and I picked this up and I was like, okay, well, I'll read it for Strange Thon, as I said, but scrap that vlog. So I'm thinking about reading this for Summer Ween. I'm just putting it in that vlog. Or if y'all would like to see me read like a couple other mangas, maybe I'll try out a romance manga and I can make it in into its own separate video if y'all would like. Let me know what y'all think, if it should be its own separate video or if I should just include it in Summer Ween. Another thriller that I've been really wanting to read that I just bought is The Perfect Child by Lucinda Berry. I have been hearing such great things about Lucinda Berry and specifically this book and Saving Noah. I'm interested in both but this is the one that I decided to pick up first. So obviously this one's kind of about an evil child and I really do love this trope in general. This one sounds so interesting and everybody's been loving it. Another thriller that I have is The Fourth Monkey by J.D. Barker and this was one that was recommended to me for my 12 challenge by Beth from Beth's All Book. I think actually her husband Paul recommended this one to me. Beth loves this one too because I think she recommended me It Happened One Summer and he recommended recommended me this one but I'm taking it as Paul and Beth both recommended it to me so I just picked up a copy and I think I have the audiobook out for my library too so I'm hoping to read this one for Summerween and knock it off that challenge and I heard this one has like a really messed up serial killer which we live laugh love to see I have a couple more thriller options too but the last one I'm gonna mention here is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn and this one I did start um but then I went into a reading slump so 
you know, I don't even remember what happened. I'm going to have to go back and reread it. But everybody's saying, like, if you have not been spoiled for this yet, like, this is what you need to read. This is the pinnacle. This is the foundation for modern thrillers. So obviously I need to read it. And I plan on it. Definitely this is going to be one that I read during that week. And the ones that I showed you are ones that I do really want to read. But I have a couple other options. And maybe, you know, maybe I'll read 10 books that week. We don't know. A lot of these do have audiobooks. So I feel like I'll be pretty set and I'm really excited to read these so hopefully I just don't get burnt out on thrillers that will be the only reason why I wouldn't want to that'll be the only reason why I don't read a ton so that's all that I have for this video today I hope you guys enjoyed that I am still in the middle of a couple books but I have um a little bit of the month left to try and get those done if you made it to the end of this video leave a little sun emoji down below for summer ween but I'll see y'all in the next one bye everybody trying to look like you winning i'm writing rhymes in the kitchen soaking the moments we live in yeah you got the nerve to be on me faking your life for the hygiene